and welcome to today's presentation about Facebook strategies to boom your business. This training is hosted by LTC Connection. What you're going to learn today is Facebook community building techniques, um, why likes are important, how to generate new fans, what is organic versus paid traffic, and tips to keep those fans coming back. Last but not least, getting fans to take action. It's so important to lead with value. Uh, you want to create great content that is valuable to your audience. Um, you know, you want to be the go-to source. Focus on your ideal client and their problems and always remember it's about them and not about you. So try to always lead with value, something that is useful to your audience. Answer questions. It's amazing to me how many people don't take the time to answer questions on their fan page. Listen. Make sure you're listening to what your fans are saying, what their pain points are. It's always great when you can listen, hear what they're saying, and provide a solution to their problems simply because, because you've listened. And how do you get more fans? Um, start building out that fan base by inviting your friends, your family, and employees to like your page. This really does work. I would post on your personal profile once in a while to let people know that you have a fan page. You'd love to connect with them there. When you get a friend request on your personal profile, um, you know, take a moment to re respond. Uh, thank them for the request. You know, say something like, it's great to connect. Um, make sure you visit their profile and find something personal to connect or comment on so that you're including that as well. So it looks like a, you know, you, are, you do care and you're showcasing that care uh, by pulling something personal. You've taken the time uh, to check out their profile and, you know, invite them to connect with you on your fan page where, quote unquote, you are more active. Quality content always wins out. So learn what to post, how frequently to post, and, and how to boost the distribution of those posts is really important. The Facebook news feed is dynamic, uh, meaning it's constantly flowing. There's new things that are, that are being shared by Facebook. Um, all the time. On average, only about 16% of users see the updates um, that you post on your page. And that's one out of six. That's not very many. It doesn't mean that the same people are going to see that the one post. It means that that content is constantly, um, you know, in the mix and uh, different people will see that content. And this is, there's some, you know, variables to this number, but on average, uh, this is a pretty firm number. Facebook is um, switching things up pretty routinely. Uh, you know, there's been rumors that, you know, they're going to continue to decrease our organic reach. Um, but, you know, that's just something that we're just going to continually have to flex on. If we want to, you know, it is their playground, and if we want to play there, we're going to have to just learn uh, the tip tricks and tips to um, to get our content in front of our um, our fan base. Bottom line, you need an active plan to uh, generate new fans. That's very important. Uh, keep your fans coming back to your fan page and uh, a system for collecting leads and most importantly, uh, get them to take action whether it is through Facebook or some other median. Okay, let's talk about Facebook fan pages for business. Uh, and what we're going to learn today is um, yeah, an overall digital platform strategy and why that's important. Uh, developing a content mix, the 80-20 rule, tips and tricks to drive engagement to your fan page and to your content more specifically, the value of free offers and how you leverage them on your fan page, the value of custom Facebook apps. This is what a fully integrated social media platform looks like. And don't get uh, panicked when you see this. Uh, obviously, your website is uh, the hub. You have widgets that are going to be, sh your content's going to be shared on, um, you know, social platforms. Um, you're going to have a newsletter. Ultimately, these are all things that, uh, you know, drive traffic back to your blog. Dominating Facebook, uh, you need a content strategy plan. It's imperative. And um, I'm going to share with you our system uh, and a few more slides. You're going to see how we break down our content strategy plan, and hopefully that will give you a lot of ideas. Um, you also need a growth plan so that you can consistently grow and get in front of new eyeballs, have new people looking at your business. And you always need a, a, measure, a way to measure um, you, you know, what you're doing. If you're sharing uh, things on social media or on Facebook in particular, it's always a good idea to have a way to measure and see what is actually working on your fan page. Facebook does have a, a, a system of analytics, uh, your insights. You can check those, and I encourage you to do so routinely so you can see, again, what's working and what's not. 
So what is a content strategy plan? You know, here I am throwing these terms out there and I really didn't uh, share with you what it is. Basically, it's a plan to assure that what you're posting on Facebook supports your social media goals using an, uh, your authentic voice in a way that engages uh, and drives community growth. Why do you need a content strategy plan? It's to make sure you're posting consistently because this is critical. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a wide variety of uh, content so that you appeal to a wider audience. You want to make sure that you're providing value, that you're being use for, useful to your audience. And you want to promote your business on an 80-20 rule, meaning 80% value, 80% uh, usefulness to your audience and a 20% 20, 20 marketing message. You know, sometimes um, I see either or. In other words, sometimes people come uh, to their, they'll get started on their Facebook page and they'll be all about marketing their business and they totally turn off their audience. You know, social media is not about push marketing. It is not a push marketing technique. It is a pull marketing or an attraction marketing technique. So if you want to be successful um, on your fan page, it's an 80%, maybe even 90% um, value-based proposition. But don't forget to go um, to weave in your so your marketing message. So that's the other side of it. Sometimes I see people who, you know, forget they get wrapped up in delivering value and they forget to, that they're in business and they're selling something. So don't forget to weave in your marketing message. It's very important. And all of this, bottom line, is to drive engagement on your fan page. I don't know if you've had an opportunity to read Gary Vaynerchuk's book, Jab, Jab, Right Hook. But basically, um, it's all about jab, 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 meaning build, connect, engage. Those are, or value, 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 or you could interchange these words, useful, 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 um, delivering value, bottom line, and those first three steps. And then you have your right hook where you're actually you know, using your influence to create an opportunity for a sale. What drives engagement on your fan page content? Um, you know, this is a, a photo that obviously got a lot of engagement. It had, um, you know, it was liked over a million and a half times, commented over 100,000 times. Huge engagement uh, on this particular photo. Now, granted, this may have nothing, this type of photo may have nothing to do with your business. But the reason I share this is because social media is life. People connect and will connect with you on a life um event before they're going to connect with you on your business. So I encourage you to share things that will, that's relatable, you know, things that people can connect with you on um, first. And then you will ultimately, again, weave back in that marketing message, but be relatable, be a human being. Um, you know, I saw this the other day and I think it's so true. It's no longer B2B, B2C. It's human to human. Social media is human to human marketing. And if you you can show up and be human, um, I uh, assure you that you'll get a lot further than uh, you will if, if you don't do so. A content a strategy always goes back to your goal set. You know, what is your goal? Um, here at Boom Social, we have uh, a goal to promote our products, our services, and events that we um, take place in or we're hosting. We're also are about educating and bringing value to our community. We want to motivate and inspire our community, and we want to develop a personal connection. You know, I said a moment ago, we want to be human. We want to connect with people on a human-to-human -human basis, and we want to promote our blog, our newsletter, our media opportunities, uh, grow our community, and last but certainly not least, create sales through the process of all of this. And we do this by having a comprehensive uh, content strategy. We have motivational quotes, humor. We tie in some personal uh, posts, social media information, uh, company news, promotions that we're running. You know, we share our blog. This is our content plan. Um, and we have, we call these content categories. And then, you know, uh, we decide, okay, from there, how many posts of which contents category are we going to post on a daily basis? We might post, you know, two motivational quotes a day, you know, a humor quote, we share our blog, um, you know, company news, promotions, whatever it is, we have this, we stick to these categories and then we decide on the frequency. This will help you so much 
uh, not only in keeping it straight in your head, what you want to, to post, um, but it'll keep you on track. It'll keep you consistent. So I highly encourage you to come up with some content categories that you can leverage to share content uh, and value on your fan page. There are five content engagement levels on Facebook. Um, and Facebook, basically, that's the talking about number. These first three categories in particular, the share, the comment, and the like, are the three categories that Facebook um, uses to come up with the talking about number. Shares, 6%, comments, 15 a like, 79%. Um, a click is an engaged user. It means they took some action. And a view is just that. It's just your reach. It means they saw it. Somebody out there, uh, Facebook uh, showed your content, somebody shared it, um, whatever the case may be. But that's uh, ultimately the reach uh, number that you're going to see on your insights. And let's talk about what content works best for driving engagement. Photos are number one. Um, status updates, text updates are number two. And links uh, to blog content or a video are number three. Now, I'm talking about engagement. I'm not talking about reach. So a lot of you may say, well, you know, my text updates are getting more quote unquote reach. And yes, that is true. Facebook is showing your content to more people um, if they're text based. Um, but and I'm talking about engagement, meaning people are liking it, sharing it, taking some action on that content. And a photo still wins out um, as it relates to engagement versus the reach that you're getting through uh, Facebook's um, algorithm. Keep it short. Posts with more than 80 characters wreck interactions. It doesn't mean you can't use longer posts, but it's just proven that shorter posts get a higher engagement rate. I don't want you to think that you can't use longer posts, but do so, you know, around uh, things that uh, you think will drive more engagement simply because you're painting a, a bigger picture. You know, if you can, try to stick with the shorter posts. Three content strategies that work very well. Fill in the blanks, you know, photos, posting a photo and saying, asking people to caption it. Um, asking questions are great. People love to talk and engage with you. So asking a question absolutely works. It's a great technique to use when you're trying to, you know, get more engagement and get people talking with you. Let's talk about some action items. Um, identify four to eight different categories of content that you want to share on your Facebook fan page. Decide on the posting frequency for each category. Decide posting windows for each day of the week. You can mix this up. It doesn't have to stay the same. But again, this will really help you build out a consistent plan. And then schedule and track your content so that you know what's working. Once you see what's working, review and adjust. Just like any other marketing strategy, you have to take a minute and evaluate what's actually working. Um, do more of that and do away with what's not working. Okay, I want to talk to you about custom Facebook apps. Before I really dig into custom Facebook apps, I want to talk about email marketing and how you can use email marketing and how it's applicable to your Facebook fan page. Email marketing works amazingly well because it helps you build relationships with your audience. It gives you a captive audience. You know, a lot of people uh, check their email uh, before they're going to check their social media platforms. You've probably heard the saying, the money is in your list, and it is absolutely true. If you're not building the list today, uh, I want to encourage you to start because it's, it's critical to the long-term monetization of your business. And the more opt-ins you create, the faster your business is going to grow. So again, how does Facebook and email marketing tie in? You remember that not everyone who's liked your fan page will see all of your messages, right? I mean, we know that only 16% of your fan base, one out of six people is going to see um, an individual post that you put on your fan page without paying Facebook for Facebook ads. And I mean, you could, there's some variables to that, but just straight up, um, you know, posting something on your Facebook without any other factors being thrown into the mix, one out of six of your posts are going to be seen by your fans. How do you get around that? You know, you want to be top of mind when somebody thinks about your product or your service. And you always want to give value that will keep them looking for you, right? So now that we know why it is important to keep that email connection going, how is this relevant again to Facebook? You can use Facebook to generate more leads for your business. You know, different people are on different platforms. Um, I'm sure you know that. You know, some people are on Facebook that aren't on Twitter, and some are on Twitter that aren't on Facebook. 
Um, some that go to your blog never go to your Facebook fan page. But more importantly for this training, some fans that are following you on Facebook never go to your website. It's very important to build out that list so that you can connect with your audience consistently and deliver that value to them. And how do you do this? How do you get people to opt into your list using Facebook? It all comes down to your free offer. What you're willing to give away for free so that you can share this free offer not only on your Facebook page, but on your uh, blog, on Twitter, uh, a lot of different places that you can drive traffic back to your Facebook app. So for purposes of this training, I just want to focus on using your free offer on your Facebook page. And to do so, it's literally called building the landing page um, on at what, what's called a Facebook app on your fan page. So you need to create a free offer that is enticing enough that people will trade their email addresses for it. And let's just, we'll just run over a couple of things right quick, just to give you a couple of ideas. So what constitutes a great free offer? When I am training and coaching people to come up with, um, you know, that amazing free offer that's going to get people to say, I have got to have that and I'll give you my email address for it. You have to ask what's useful to your audience, what keeps them up at night, and how can I help with that solution? So ask your audience. You cannot, you, literally, you can just ask them, what are you struggling with? You can try out different offer, offers and track them closely. Your audience might want something different than what you think they want. And then you can check your Facebook insights on engagement to see what your audience is sharing the most. Once you know that information, then you can create a report, an ebook, a video series, an audio. You can do discounts, specials, or a giveaway. Bottom line, it's about what is it that they want? What are they struggling with? And how can you help them? You've got to be the solution to their problem. So what are they already asking for? And then you give it to them. And a Facebook app is built out directly on your fan page. And you can see I have several here on my fan page. 30 fun and creative ways to get more fans. 52 quick and easy ways to build your brand. You can do multiple ones. You can have one if you only have one Facebook app. I'm sorry, if you only have one, fa one free offer. But bottom line, you want to build this out so that you can drive traffic to it. Uh, people that are on your fan page will see it, click on it, and opt into your list. So I want to show you a couple of examples. Here is a free report, uh, social media for your business. And, um, you know, when people click on that, they will see this. They will see this free offer, learn how to tame the social media beast. And there you can see, put in your name, your email address. And when it does, it will go on Beth's uh, email list. And now she can communicate with those people routinely through her newsletter. Here's an example of somebody using um, a video, free, free Facebook marketing video tutorial. Uh, again, people are signing up for this. If you click on that link, you'll go to this. You uh, put in your name, your email address. It goes onto social media examiner's list and they can communicate with them routinely um, again through their newsletter. Here's an example of a discount. Um, you go here, you're going to be able to save $10. All different examples. Here's a giveaway example. You know, so once you have your opt in ready, how do people find it? This is the beautiful part. One, they can be physically on your Facebook page, or you can literally, or you can share it in a multitude of ways. And I'm going to, sh I'm going to show you a couple of ways to do that in just a moment. But let me give you a little bit of background on your custom apps. They are 810 pixels in width. You can actually put a reveal or a light gate on them, meaning when people first come to your Facebook fan page app, you can ask them to like your page before they get your free offer. So it's what I call a twofer. You get a like and an opt-in to your list. Okay, let's talk about, let's talk a few strategies as it relates to your Facebook timeline uh, marketing apps. You definitely want to create a reason for someone to click on your thumbnail. And I'm going to give you some examples of that in just a moment. Um, the three apps at the top should be your most important uh, because they're visible. When anybody comes to your fan page, those three apps at the top are visible. You can have more than three. There's up to um, 12 apps on your Facebook page. But the three at the top, and most people really only need a few, um, you know, three to, the, to five is, is probably plenty for the average marketer. 
you want to rename that app and use some call to action terms. So again, I want to show, show you some examples and give you um, um, specifically some examples about what I mean when I say call to action terms. So as you can see here, these are some of mine. Several things I want you to see here. One, uh, I have custom buttons made. So it tells people what it is they're getting when they click on that link, whether it's a free ebook or a webinar or, you know, pump up your Twitter. Uh, my Pinterest uh, um, account is on here, my blog. Uh, click here for tips. And underneath is what I call the call to action meaning you want to change the, you want to make sure that those say something that uh, the create action. So under the free ebook, I have sign up. Webinars, enroll now. Uh, pump up your Twitter, learn Twitter. Uh, Pinterest, let's connect. Uh, Kim's blog, you know, I just got Kim's blog there. Or, you know, click for tips. Those are call to actions that people know they need to take action to uh, proceed. But this is really the amazing thing about custom apps on Facebook. Every custom app on your Facebook page has a unique URL. So you can take that URL and share it on Twitter, on Google+, um, on advertising even if you so choose to do so, and drive traffic from your other social platforms or in other ways to your landing page on your Facebook um, business page or your P Facebook fan page so that you can one get more likes on your fan page and two so that you can get an opt-in to your list so this is an incredibly um, amazing strategy to build out your list and to build uh, your likes on your fan page. You can drive traffic both inside and outside of Facebook to this app. Now what do I mean by that? Um, inside Facebook, you can share the link while, you know, sharing what the pain point that will help them. So for example, you know, if, if I have a free offer that is helping somebody get more Facebook likes, I might say on my fan page, need more Facebook fans? Click here to get my free offer on my 30 fun and creative ways to get more Facebook fans. That's one way that you could get people to the actual landing page from inside of Facebook. You could share a testimonial with the link. Maybe somebody has, um, you know, leveraged that particular um, free offer in a way that has created a benefit for um, for them and their business. If that's the case, then you could share that testimonial and redirect others to the landing page on your fan page. Facebook ads, and again, another great way to drive traffic uh, to that landing page um, on your fan page and some ways that you can drive traffic from outside of Facebook back to your Facebook fan page. You can share the link on Twitter and your other social media platforms. I think I mentioned this um, before. You can use your social media icons to send tra traffic directly to your app. Now let me explain this right quick. If you have social media icons on your fan page, if you have social media icons on your website right now, more than likely you're directing them to your Facebook wall. My suggestion would be to change that link on your blog site to where it's redirecting to the app or the landing page on your Facebook um, fan page so that they're not going just to your wall. You're, they're, you're, generate, you're sending traffic directly to a landing page where they have an opportunity to like your page and to get value that's free to to. The, now for the best practices for the best results. Uh, just giving you a few additional tips and hints. Make your opt-in enticing. In other words, it has to solve a problem and it needs to be focused. In other words, don't get too big. Make sure that you're solving a, a specific uh, pain point. It doesn't have to be you know, elaborate. It just has to be um, something that helps, gives value back to your audience, and more importantly, something that they want. Keep fans on Facebook whenever possible. That this this um, particular tip is related to Facebook ads. I highly suggest if you're using Facebook ads that you keep uh, where you're sending your traffic to on your Facebook on Facebook, which means your Facebook fan page, which again means a landing page. Share it within Facebook and on your other platforms. This is big. I mean, you know, it's critical. If, if you don't share it and you don't let people know it's there, they're not going to always stumble into it. You're going to get a lot more visibility if you share it. 
And once you've captured um, email addresses, make sure you're doing a regular newsletter. It doesn't really do you any good to build out a list if you're not communicating and building a relationship that is value-based with your audience. So you want to make sure that you're doing a newsletter. Let me share this with you right quick because I think this holds a lot of value and will give you some perspective. The number of fans a company's Facebook page has correlates with the numbers of leads generated. Businesses with 500 to 1,000 leads generated four times more leads than those with 1 to 25 fans. And the lead numbers only increases fan sizes increase. So every new fan or like you get increases your chance of spreading your content to more and more potential customers who could become leads for you and your business. This is really big. So you, it goes back to having a um, you know, consistent plan for growth for your fan page. It's important. I just want to wrap up with a couple of ways that you can connect with me. My fan page is facebook.com forward slash Kim Garst Boom Social, uh, Twitter, um, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram are all just Kim Garst. Would love for you to connect with me. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. And um, if you're interested in learning more about social media, please check out my inner circle. It's a do-it-yourself social media for small business. It's kimgars.com forward slash DIY social media. I hope this training has been very helpful. And again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to connect. Take care and God bless.